surprise. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I decided to come with you on your business trip. Oh, I'm not going to have fun. I'm going to work, okay? So go home. But... Hi, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. Who's that? Oh, this Look. is no one. Just an acquaintance of mine. Listen, baby, can you go and buy yourself something in duty free? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. How could you? I'm your wife. Come on, dear. Don't make a scene. Just please take some money. Get yourself cleaned up while I'm on a win business, okay? And give this to me. You won't need this. I was afraid to even say a word as I was completely dependent on my husband. It seemed that I would never be free and happy again. Who is crying before I fly to Paris? I'm not flying. My ticket got turned up. Oh. What happened? My husband. He's flying there with his mistress. You know, I think you should definitely go to Paris. What for? Maybe to find new love. But I told you I don't have a ticket. You won't need it. You're coming on board with me through the VIP terminal, straight to first class. It was like a hurricane that picked me up and swept me away in a second. On a flight that changed my whole life. Hello, miss. I am... Um... What the hell are you doing here? Same thing as your mistress. Flying to Paris. Huh. So you bought this first class ticket with my money? Get off the plane and return the ticket now. Let go, you're hurting me. What seems to be the problem? Oh, Captain, she needs to get off. I'm sorry, sir, but you don't belong here. Well, yeah, she belongs at home. And you belong in economy class. So please, let go of the first class passenger and take a seat. If you don't get off the plane now, I'll make sure you have no money left. Excuse me, Captain. I need to get off. I'm sorry, ma'am. But it's no longer possible. When we arrive, you'll crawl to me begging for some money for food. Please, take us. I wanted to jump out of the plane. I was at a dead end, with no way out. I've never seen anyone cry in the first class before. What are you doing here? Who's flying the plane? What does that matter? In a company of a girl like you, anyone wouldn't be crushing. My co-pilot has everything under control. Well, what have we got to lose? An ugly housewife that will become homeless. Not on my plane. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. This stranger turned my flight into a fairy tale that any girl would dream of. They danced around me like I was a real princess. Just to impress you. And then ask you to go out with me in Paris. You and me? You said it yourself that you have nothing to lose. Parlez-vous français? Oui. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no problem, you have enough time to learn some phrases in French. 
See you in Paris. I accepted this challenge of fate and decided to plunge headlong into adventures in the most romantic place on Earth. Maybe the captain is right, and I really will find my love there. It seemed like I was in a fairy tale. We were walking the streets of Paris. I was holding his hand and couldn't take my eyes off him. It was like we were drawn to each other. I felt that he liked me. But I still couldn't understand why. Why was he doing all this for me? <laughs> <laughs> Even rainy Paris is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Tell me, please. Why is a man like you still not married? It's simple. My wife left me. But why? I guess I'm not the most ideal partner to make a family with. I don't believe that. You're every woman's dream. You know, I, I have always dreamed of a big family to share all of this with. And my dream is being embarrassed with you. But there is only one thing missing. What's that? Next to him, I forgot about everything. There seemed to be no flaws in him. He made every hour moment together unforgettable for me. But I didn't know yet that once we arrived from Paris, everything would change forever. There's a suite booked for you. You can stay there as long as you wish. But I thought that we... Honey, I've had the best days of my life, but I told you I'm the worst partner for you. I mean, that's awful, and that's where everyone leaves me. You are amazing, but all my life revolves around this sky and, and non-stop trips. I won't be around for Christmas, and all other family holidays. You will be waiting for me for all the time and, and crying like my ex-wife. Heaven, please. Please. Goodbye, sunshine. Evan left, not knowing that I had already fallen in love with him. I was once again left alone in the middle of the airport where everyone was welcomed besides me. And I understood that I even had nowhere to go. <laughs> Baby, mm. just wait for me. I'll be quick, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why, the captain left you. Well, I hope you're not going home. But there my stuff is. Oh, no, 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 no. Your stuff is already in a dumpster. Exactly where you're gonna live now. What? What are you looking at? Your captain won't come to your rescue this time because he's surrounded by hot stewardesses and not some pity housewife in tears. Hold it. Yeah, what? <laughs> what, what? Are you crazy? No. Thanks to you, I realized that. What? If you can't be with me on the ground. What are you doing? I'll be with him. In the sky. What? I don't need you anymore. What the hell? Baby, I'm... A
Sonny. Welcome aboard, Captain. What are you doing here? If it takes going up to the sky to be together, then I'm right. At that moment I realized that love comes to someone willing to fight for it, who is not afraid to fall down and climb back up 30,000 